Shut up, Lou. Let's get on with the lipstick for crazy. Skip to my Lou, my darling. Hi, guys. It's Lou. Can you see my twinkly lights behind me? I hope so because my background's super boring. So today we are going to look at some jelly flower lipstick. And I know that this has been going around the internet and YouTube and Instagram. I actually have a picture of it on my Instagram. It's beautiful. I ordered it about a month and a half ago and it took a long time to get to me and I've had it for a long time. So better late than never. So I bought this off of Amazon and I did not buy the name brand because it's very expensive and I'm gonna cut this bitch open today. So let's get started. I have lip gloss on, but I do also want to give it a review in case you guys want to purchase it. It had awesome reviews on Amazon and this is called, <laughs> it's so funny, the Asian translation. I believe the brand is New Hensoko and it says nourish persistent. So maybe that means it's nourishing your lips persistently. Let's hope so. But it comes in a little box, unlike some of those jelly lipsticks that you can buy that just come on their own and are really super cheap. Look at the pretty packaging. It's a really cute little container. So it has an E on it, and I'm not seeing any E on the box. But, you know, if you guys were looking for it on Amazon, you would find it because of the pretty pink packaging. You guys, look at my shirt. I feel like, um, what's his name? Austin Powers. Thank you, dummy. So I have my Austin Powers shirt on for the last time because I got a comment the last time I wore it to a dinner party and someone said, you remind me of Austin Powers. And I said, do I make you horny, baby? And she said, no. Anyway, look. It's so pretty. Shut up, Lou. Let's get on with the lipstick for crazy. Now for the good part. Ooh, it's beautiful. Let's put some on and let's take this off. As always, I've got my makeup wipes. Take this crap off. I'm going to put lots on. So this very light, almost clear pink turns dark on your lips. Well, not a dark pink, but medium pink. And I'm going to tell you right now. It feels like Vaseline. Oh, I don't know if I'm tasting the makeup wipe or this. You know, I think that this is more of a novelty than it is a proper makeup item. It's freaking cool and very pretty with a flower in there. How'd they get that flower in there? How'd they do it? And how are we going to get it out? It's not real moisturizing. It feels dry on my lips and I feel like it's making my lips look dry. Like I'm starting to see the creases in my lips, which you never want and which is why I always wear lip gloss. And there's a really bitter taste. Where's that wipe? It's not the wipe, it's this. So let's get to the fun stuff, shall we? So my daughter is begging me not to cut this open because she wants to have it. She's just started a makeup bag and she loves to put stuff in it. So she wanted this in there. Let's go see if she wants to try it on before I murder it. Ava, do you want to try on this lipstick before I cut it open? No, I don't care it turns pink. Okay. No, I don't care anymore. It turns pink. I'm coming. So I'm gonna cut it open, but I thought you might want to try it. I have black fingers. Is it why do you have black fingers? Because I'm doing something. But try it on your lips. No, I was looking at it. I think it tastes like poo. That's fine. Is it bitter to you? Bit. Okay, see ya. Yeah. She's fun. Wow. Okay, here we go.
some petals came off. It's exactly what I guessed, which is one of those dried flowers, I believe. I guess I could put it on this way now. But you know what? It wasn't even that great when it was in one piece. What do you think if I give my daughter this? I think she'll like it. So that's it for the jelly flower lipstick review and cut open review and massacre, review and chop, review and slice, whatever. So now we know that inside that jelly flower lipstick is a real dried flower. I think it's a daisy that has been dyed pink. It's a pretty cool concept. And I think, as I said before, it's more of a novelty. To have a flower entombed in your lip gloss is pretty freaking cool if you ask me. That's all I have to say about this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do so. Mm -hmm. I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.